What up? It's your boy NWP, and we're back at it once again with another video. And hopefully, you guys are enjoying this Sunday morning as we slam through season 14 of Apex Legends with nearly three weeks remaining in the first split of the 13th ranked season. We're definitely getting closer to halfway through season 14 than most people would expect. But today, guys, instead of taking a look at something brand new to the game like Loba's upcoming heirloom and the Beast of Prey collection event, we're going to be taking a look at the Andrew Tate ban situation. Yes, I know you've probably heard about this situation happening on YouTube, Instagram, and so on and so forth. But no, it looks like Andrew Tate has also been banned from Apex Legends. And we're going to take a look at that and talk a little bit more about what's happening in this situation. But first, if you enjoy the channel, how about taking the time to like this video? And if you're new, smash down that subscribe button with the notification bell so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. And of course, guys, speaking of the Beast of Prey collection event, I'm going to be hooking up one of you guys with the Loba Heirloom. If you take the time to check out the link in the description down below, you'll find a giveaway and multiple ways to enter as well as daily entries to help you increase your odds of winning if you so choose to use them. But let's get into today's video because this one is definitely a really, really kind of comical situation as the persona and character known as Andrew Tate has been seemingly banned from Apex Legends. And honestly, the man is a unique individual to say the very least. And to start off with the good things, he is a fairly successful kickboxer, and he was also obviously successful in life when it comes to his entrepreneurial endeavors and is overall a wealthy, successful man. However, that's probably where the good notes stop about him, because beyond that, he seems to be a very highly opinionated and very sexist person with what appears to be at least from the outside looking in with no medical degree some very severe mommy issues that need to be addressed at some point in his life if he expects to ever grow and move on as he portrays this very very old machismo culture kind of vibe and that like pretend man's man where you got to do things certain ways kind of thing and it's honestly at some points comical to the point that where he really got all of his fame from was the Your Mom's House podcast, which is actually two very dark comedians, Tom Segura and Christina P, who more or less used him as a running joke forever until they actually invited him on the podcast and talked to him and subsequently just used him to embarrass himself on their podcast the whole time because the views of the man are so just deluded and strange that you can't help but laugh at him and he's so full of his own shit that he can't see that people are laughing at him the entire time and since then he's been picked up by a lot of different podcasts and given a lot of different areas to kind of make his platform known and the situation is for every 30 quotes the man is actually quoted as saying he gets maybe one semi-decent one out there, and it's maybe arguable that it's uh, something that, you know, people should listen to. But the majority of his stuff is just sexist rants. And it appears that he's actually been banned from Apex Legends, or at least using the name has been banned from Apex Legends. So you cannot be Andrew Tate in Apex Legends, which also means because this is a human being's name, and on top of that, it's not a very uncommon human being's name, that if you happen to be, say, a 16-year-old boy named Andrew Tate, you can't have the name A. Tate, Drew Tate, Andrew Tate, etc., with any type of variation to it in Apex Legends. But this isn't something that's really unprecedented for EA games in general, as they've definitely taken a stance against a lot of stuff in a very weird way. And while I guess the sentiment behind what they're trying to do is good, their actions are pretty much just questionable at best. For instance, you couldn't say the word Nazi in a Battlefield game that had Nazis 
and swastikas and you know just focused on world war ii and that type of thing you couldn't say that there was a group of nazis in that corner over in that building if you were the american or allied forces you literally could not use the word nazi it was banned from use so you couldn't type up in chat there's nazis over there i need help which makes no sense when you have all the other rhetoric and stuff like that that's involved in making a world war ii video game and that's like just all of a sudden erasing out that nazis weren't there which is exactly what the nazis want the nazis want you to forget about them they want you to stop mentioning it forget the history don't let it be something known that's part of their goal so i don't understand exactly what ea is trying to do here obviously respawn has been trying to create an inclusive game that feels comfortable and somewhat homey for the majority of players but this situation seems a little awkward to ban a human name from the game because there is a human with that name that has awkward opinions i mean if that was the case then we probably shouldn't be allowed to have any human names because almost every single one of us has somebody with a similar or identical name that has probably some fucked up opinions or preferences so i think they've overstretched a little bit in this regard and it doesn't really make sense to ban the use of the name unless there's something to key in the sexism behind it um if the name, just the name alone is going to trigger people to the point of causing them to break the positive play charter, then I'm going to go out on a limb and say that those people need therapy more than they need uh, respawn, preventing them from seeing a name. So that's uh, just where I'm standing on this one is this doesn't make any real sense, but I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about it. Drop a comment down below and let me know what your opinion is on this Andrew Tate situation in Apex Legends obviously whether you like the guy or you hate the guy has no bearing on the name being banned in the game because again as i said this could be someone's actual name and there's a lot of people out there that really use their real names or at least portions of their real names in their gamer tags so i definitely think this one's matters and of course guys if you want to continue this conversation or maybe start another one head over to the social media links give them a like a favor to follow whatever you haven't done already and it will be greatly appreciated as we move through the seasons and into the new year. But of course, guys, there's really not much more to say about this situation, except be careful with how you name yourself in games throughout the future. And of course, don't forget to check out this video right here. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. And don't forget, you won't be able to see what happens with any of the upcoming weird controversies in Apex Legends if you don't stay safe. Stay healthy, and as always, have a good one.